Hey guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Redstone, a tutorial series where I... Hi. Who are you? I'm you, silly. No, you can't be me. I'm me. Oh, shut up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, stop that. Why are you Get hitting yourself? Why are you 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 hitting yourself? Oh my god, what a... Oh, anyways, moving on. Uh, so, Mr. Mumbo presented us with a lovely design of an of, uh, item combination lock. It's a nice design here. Here, here's my version of of a uh, cinema. I don't have no fancy schmancy camera studio mod mumbo, okay? Because I'm from the hood and I like to keep things real. But anyways, as you, as you can see, uh, you know, pretty good design. Uh, the only thing I, the uh, only problem I kind of had with it was the pistons. Um, because of the pistons, the the sounds that they make, it makes it a bit on the easy side to guess the password, even if you don't know it. Um, if you guys are interested, I will show you a demonstration on how to crack it at the end of this tutorial. But, moving on, uh, I have my own design that I came up with. I'm going to use Mumbo's interface here, of course, because it's very lovely, very lovely indeed. Um, but my version of it is actually silent. So there's no way, there's no sounds to help you guess what the combo might be. So, starting with... Uh, a block, you know, right behind, just like with Mumbles, and we're gonna put comparator, competitor. Remember to set those to subtraction mode, okay? Comparator, subtraction mode, and then come over here, comparator, subtraction mode. Now, what we're gonna do? Uh, let's borrow Mumbles colors over here. Thanks, Mumble, you're the best. So we're gonna do two blocks this way. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I totally forgot the um, the blocks on the side here with the comparators and the hoppers. So what you're gonna do is comparator into each. Um, Comparator right there. Comparator into comparator. Yo, dog, I heard you like comparators. And hoppers, like so, okay? Now, so there's that. Next, what we're going to do is going to put two blocks right in front like this, like this, all right? And then redstone dust, like so, okay? Next thing we're going to do is, let's just borrow this again. Uh, actually, am I still on orange? I'm still on orange. Let's try, let's just keep it on orange. What we're going to do bring down the signal to a repeater here and nope 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 I'm totally messing that up I'm totally me I'm sorry about that okay so redstone torches go on the inside like this okay right there and repeaters go on the outside like this and they drop down one block like so all right same thing on the other side so boom and bloop oops we're almost done believe it or not so what we're going to do is okay here we go this is gonna be like one big weird and gate so so what we're gonna do is block in front of that repeater in front of that one and also in front of these two at the top okay and then block right in between these two actually no I'm sorry right there okay put the block there to get this one here and then we're gonna bring that one forward one and all we gotta do is connect it all just connect it all with redstone like this so now it's all connected and that's your output right there believe it or not we're done okay now uh, so just so you can see it's set to 1111 uh, by default so if I go like this that turns right off okay and you gotta get the combination right in order to for the uh, output to to output <laughs> so that's it you're done what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to put um, I'm not gonna explain how to set your combination because I want to encourage you to go watch Mumbo's video he's gonna explain it for you he also has a nifty little chart in the description uh, showing you which number corresponds to how many items are in these hoppers you'll understand once you go over there and watch this video okay uh, but anyways that's about it alright I hope you guys like it and stay tuned for the demonstration on how to crack this little baby on we go cracking this bad boy now I didn't do too much testing so this might not be foolproof take it as a rough guide but from from the bit that I did mess with it, it this seems to be a pretty effective method on how to crack this uh, combination lock so the first thing you want to do is you want to de determine whether one of these two top ones are set to one and the way you figure that out is if you turn it and you eventually hear all pistons fire uh, there's three of them back there for each um, frame. Uh, if you if you hear all pistons fire, that means that it's set to anything but one. So this is position one right here. So if I turn it, that was only one piston going off. That was only one. 
That's all of them. So that means this is not one. This is the wrong number right now. But for now, leave it at one. You want to leave both of them at one when you move down to these next ones. Anyhow, so this one, I know I set it to one on purpose because I want to show you the difference. The difference, if it's set to one, you turn it, you will never hear all pistons go off at the same time. See, so if you do a, f a full turn, that means this is the correct number. So we already guessed this one. That's one. And again, if it wasn't, you would have heard all pistons fire at the same time. So leaving these two on one, we want to turn our attention down to the bottom ones. Now for the bottom ones, what you want to do is you want to turn it until you're going to pay attention to what position it's at just before the piston went off. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it went off at eight. That means seven is the correct number. Same thing with this one. So we're going to, we're going to, again, go one, two, three, four, five, six. It went off at six. So that means five is correct. Now we have three of them guessed. All we need is the last one. The last one is really easy. From position one, all you have to do, and actually let's peek over to make sure that I'm right here. All you have to do is turn it until, as a matter of fact, here, let, we know that that one's one. So let's see if my theory is correct. All you got to do is turn it until you hear the piston go off and you just leave it. So you, that's the number. So if I set this to one, that light should turn on. Please don't make me look stupid. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So that's how you guess the combination to uh, to this lock. So there you go. All right. Uh, go away. All right. Now to show you how to guess the password on this on this combination. <laughs>